Kamir did say he was a Jedi from a real long time ago. Vernestra is well into her hundreds. He also said that his former master threw him away and scarred him. His scar definitely has light whip vibes, and we all know who just flexed that move in this episode. Now when asked if it was his Jedi master, he remained silent. So the scars could be from his Sith master if we believe that he is or was Sith at some point. Could be some lightning damage from, say, a, I don't know, Darth Tenebris? In talking with Connor from Beyond the Dune Sea, one could theorize that Kamir is twice the outcast, both from the Jedi Order and from his Sith Master. So if you factor in all the Kylo Ren music and the fact that Leslie Headland said that this is purposeful and will be paid off on, the music that is, couldn't it be argued that Kamir is the beginning of an order of Force outcasts like the Knights of Ren, who don't really get with either defined Order of the Force? What adds even more weight to this theory is the notion that the island we see him and Osha on is not Acto like many are guessing, but an important island from Legends called Bald Demnik, which is prominently featured in the Plagueis novel as a Sith base that Darth Tenebris and Plagueis used to mine Cortosis of all minerals, which we can clearly see present in Kamir's cave. If this is indeed Bald Demnik, it's nearly impossible not to speculate that Kamir is or once was an apprentice of Tenebris, possibly like the Legends character Venomous, who was cast aside by Tenebris for a new apprentice in Plagueis. Is he Venomous? Well, it would take a species change, so it would be better if he was just another apprentice, but it could be doable because of Legends and whatnot. Him being Darth Plagueis would warrant a bit more concern due to another species change, and one that is much more tied to George Lucas canon than Legends stories. So for me, personally, I'd like Kamir to be a new character altogether that ultimately gets taken out by the real Sith Master and his new apprentice for trying to take on his own acolyte or start his own order under their noses. Seeing DT show up at the end to squash this awesome character would be pretty brilliant. 